Stand strong, Philippines. Typhoon Paolo, known globally as Matmo, has etched another scar across the islands on October 5th, 2025, exploding ashore as a super typhoon with peak winds of 220 kilo gusts to 260 kalumioi, and over 700 din millimeter of rain drenching from Mindanao to Batanes. The season's 15th tempest, Paolo mushroomed from a nascent disturbance near the Marianas, supercharged by anomalously warm seas, before pummeling eastern Visayas near Barangan at 3 o'clock a.m. local time. Its 60 kmmb or wide eye, a fleeting calm in a maelstrom that ravaged from coastal hamlets to urban cores. Paolo, a meteorological juggernaut, exploited the Philippine Trench's thermal bounty to ramp from tropical storm to super typhoon in 24 hours, its central pressure cratering to 905 HPA, outpacing even Ondoy's 2009 floods in sheer volume. The Philippines typhoon capital, with an average 20 hits yearly, mobilized under Pagasa's signal number no. 5 blanket, NAIA, and regional hubs like Mactan Cebu grounded 1,000 flights stranding 100,000. DSWD pre-positioned 500,000 food packs in warehouses from Apari to Zamboanga, and the NDRRMC activated nationwide hotlines, urging two million in lowlands to evacuate. Nine-meter tsunamis of brine and wreckage overran barriers, inundating Albay's coastal enclaves, insulting 20,000 hectares of abaca plantations by in Bicol, reminiscent of Yolanda but amplified by rising seas. In Catbalogan, surges breached the Makeda Bay dikes, submerging historic plazas and turning sugarcane fields into brackish bogs, where harvesters clung to harvester cabs as waters rose. Monsoon-enhanced floods, dumping 800 million emissors in mountainous interiors, morphed the Pasig Marikina Basin into a leviathan, Manila's waters cresting 25 meters, the highest since Quetzana, sweeping shanties in Tondo and floating container trucks down Edsa like bath toys. A Baron Gay captain broadcast warnings via bullhorn amid blackout. Winds toppled his tower, crushing him mid-alert. Survivors honor his sacrifice with candle vigils in flooded chapels. Fatalities hit 65. Mariners lost off Masbate. A school bus overturned in Billaran's mudslides, and aid workers fell by flying corrugated iron in Cebu. Injuries surpassed 500. Gale inflicted gashes, surge drownings, and leptospirosis brewing in stagnant pools amid antibiotic shortages. President Bong Bong Marcos declares calamity nationwide, releasing P-15 billion for rapid response. 
the PCG and AFP launch Joint Ops, deploying BRP Tarlac amphibious ships to ferry relief through Samar's mangroves and C-130s for aerial surveys of isolated Siarjao. Pegasus Doppler upgrades post Pablo gave 36 hour heads up, but upland access remains thorny. Brangay health workers in remote Albe use bamboo rafts for medevacs. Analyst autopsy, Paolo's anatomy, a rapid escalator leveraging the walker circulation, its eyewall mesovortices prolonged inland havoc, winds holding super force for 18 hours over dense populations. Pegasus' Dr. Vicente Milano ties to El Nino's demise, projecting 22 typhoons this year. Paolo mirrored Raleigh's rage. Our islands need adaptive armor, not aftermath aid, he presses, championing elevated eco-villages and satellite-linked alerts. The Thank you for watching. We deliver in-depth analysis of nature's fiercest phenomena. If you found this helpful, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell for future updates. Note, some footage is illustrative. See you next time. Stay safe and informed. Thank <laughs> you.